And welcome everybody aboard to the Donovan Live Post Game Show. We are presented by Master Pizza. I'm Dave DiNatale along with Jim Donovan. And yes, we have a co-host tonight, <laughs> our third member of our team tonight, the new head basketball coach at Cleveland State University for the Vikings, Mr. Dennis Gates. Coach, welcome to Cleveland. Thanks welcome to the me. show. Thanks for having there me. There we go. Appreciate That's you guys. A great, that's got to be a great day for you. Huh? Awesome day. That's a great day. I mean, because this is such an unusual time because of what happened in the basketball program. But to end up, I mean, you're at Florida State. Yep. You know, that's good. He's in the ACC. You're an assistant coach. And now you're the head coach of a program that's yeah. in, in the beginning, almost at yeah. the beginning of August. That's got to be pretty cool. It's unbelievable. They said if I sign, there will be more sun in the winter. So <laughs> I, I, I said, okay, good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I'm excited. I got a bridge I want to sign. <laughs> right. just down the street. <laughs> Take us back to, you know, all of a sudden, you're, you're getting, you're doing everything you do as an assistant coach yep. to get ready for the season in the summertime, yep. and then all of a sudden the phone rings, and because it's so rare in yeah. late July for a, a, a Division One school yeah. to have an yeah. opening yeah. like this, you know, it's Cleveland State calling and saying we'd like to interview you. And all of a sudden, now everything changes. I'll tell you what, I had no expectation that I would be leaving Florida State. Uh, it just lets you know how special I thought of this place, the leadership of President Sands and uh, Scott. It was, it was just unbelievable, man. When, when I got off the phone, I said, where's the contract? Will the contract just come now or can I go? I was <laughs> sold because there is a vision with the institution. It's, very, it's not often that you have an AD president and a head basketball coach align themselves at the same time with the same uh, vision. So. Well, that's, and that's essential, isn't yeah. it? For a program to really, especially if you're gonna try and rejuvenate right. a program yeah. that needs rejuvenation, yeah. there's no doubt. I mean, everybody's gotta be in the same boat. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll say this, all hands are on deck. <laughs> and okay. I'll, I'll tell you, I had a great job. I left my mentor. You know how hard that is? Oh yeah. To yeah. leave a mentor. Yeah. But this job was so special I could not turn down the opportunity. All right, so Leonard Hamilton. Unbelievable. Yeah. Leonard Hamilton, a very, very successful coach wherever he's been. Yep. But currently at Florida State. Um, can can you just give us a slice though? I mean, I, I mean listen, I want the Vikings to do really well, but I uh, on this show we're fascinated with different things. Yeah, indeed. Uh -huh. So I am fascinated what you got. with what it's like to be in the ACC, in particular in yes. basketball. Yes. Oh, I mean, man. I mean that is the conference of all conferences. Yeah. I mean, it really is. Gold standard. And I know you played a Cal, and you know that's right. great. Right. And, you know, we and I hope the Horizon League does well. But <laughs> right. the ACC, right. every night right. that you're playing, it's yeah. a monumental yeah. game. Well, the coaching profession is very small, so for me. It's like uh, you you play you dream of playing college basketball. You dream of playing at the highest level. Mm -hmm. Well, we know that everybody doesn't have that opportunity. Yeah. But when you get in that line, that layup line, and or the end of the game where you handshake, and then you're actually, hey, that's Coach K. Oh, that's right. <laughs> hey, that's Jim Bayon. Oh, right. oh, that's Roy Williams. All Hall of Famers. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievable. And and, and it's un it's an unbelievable experience, yeah. Yeah. man. But I truly think I've been prepared. Coach Hamilton has done a great job, and I, he's prepared me, man. He, What's the as you start to put together a coaching staff? Mm -hmm. What do you what do you look for to, as to, to guys to help? As you said, from the top down, it's right. the President Sands and Scott right. Garrett right. yourself. Right. You know, how do you find assistance to share that vision that everybody seems to have well the most important part is having relationships with guys out there who would leave their current institutions or their current situations at this time mm -hmm. because you're asking them to believe in something as well mm -hmm. so you think about the momentum of president sans scott then myself mm -hmm. coming here and believing all in one there's guys out there that really have uh, true passion and interest to be here. I have to sift through the uh, resumes and understand who fits our guys. It's all about the players. Who can help these guys get better? I would imagine your phone's ringing off the hook mm -hmm. when, a, when a guy gets a, a head coaching job and all these guys yeah. are calling up and saying, hey, I wanna come yeah. and be part of your staff. It's a beautiful building uh -huh. over there. I mean, the Convocation Center yeah. is a, you know, it's a beautiful place. Um, and we'd like to see 
you know, it, it will get, people will go, they will come if you build it, they said, but they will mm -hmm. definitely come if you win. Okay, yeah. but you're at ground, you're at square one right square now. Square one. How are you going to try and build this thing? We're going to build it each day. Okay. We're going to make sure we win championships every day, get a little bit better, a little bit better, and you'll see the momentum change in mm -hmm. not only our uh, staff, our, our community, you'll see it change within each, each member of the team. And when you can do it that way and win small little battles, it, it prepares you for the big picture. So we wanna keep the window small to build the culture on a solid foundation. And then once we do that, we'll extend out. Well, I would argue you, you, you had a success already before you came down and spoke to Jimmy on Donovan Live and did the show uh -huh. with us. Uh, there was a, a big reception from season ticket holders mm -hmm. for uh -huh. you, and that's that's great. that's, that's got to be important because yeah. you you you're making you're making the players believe, right. you're making the program right. believe, but you're also making people want to spend the money. And, right. and uh, by the way, operators are standing right. by right now if you order your <laughs> tickets. Um, but but you want to make the ticket holders believe that that look, this is something that we really want to be a part of right. for a long time to come. Right. I absolutely lost it when I got on a stage with tears. Cause that I was sitting in the front row mm -hmm. and I saw how many people were at the press conference. It was standing room, mm -hmm. or like out the, out the door. And now you take, go to the reception season ticket holders. You see the excitement that they have. Uh, it's our job to play with a passion that attracts them, and I'm excited about it. Yeah, well, you know what? It's any time that uh, they have been good, uh -huh. and they have been good. I <laughs> yeah. mean, okay? I mean, I mean, I go back to the Kevin Mackey days. Right. I mean, when they were playing at the Woodling Gym. Right, right, Okay, right. and you couldn't get in there. Okay, because they were playing so well, and uh -huh. they were in the they were in a, the AMQ8 conference, there which is go. called the Motor Oil there you Conference. Go. There you go. And everybody comes saying, "What's the AMQ8?" Right. They had right. no automatic <laughs> bid, and they had to convince people. And they'd win 28, 29 uh -huh. games a year, and they had to make their case. You'd be sweating it out yes. when they were when on Selection Sunday to see if they got in. And then you know they've gone to the tur you know tournament a couple of times after that. Gary Waters got them into the tournament, and they they won a game in the tournament and everything. But the buzz in Cleveland. Cleveland, if you put out a product, I, uh -huh. I promise you this, Coach, if you put out a product that's fun and exciting, yeah. all of a sudden people yeah. are going to be excited by that because when we've gotten a taste of the NCAA tournament, mm -hmm. when CSU hosted it and when over at the Q or whatever mm -hmm. it's called now, and uh, <laughs> when they've had tournament games the over rock. there, I mean, it's packed over there. Yeah. So I think people, real, you know, they want a good product. This, this community is a basketball community. Uh, you know, there's no reason... Uh, why I don't think, you know, our relationships with the community, our relationships with the right AAU coaches, mm -hmm. grassroots coaches, mm -hmm. and high school programs, we have to strengthen that to be able to protect the Cleveland student athletes. Well, and, and you say that, and, and when this job became open, you, people, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I, I, all I would hear on my Twitter feed is, well, you gotta have, find somebody <laughs> that has local ties, gotta find somebody that knows Northeast Ohio. Right. I mean, I get it, I, because that's the kind of school Cleveland right. State is. It's, right. a, it's a commuter school, right. I get right. that. But yes, that's important for you to be able to cultivate the relationships mm -hmm. here in, in Northeast Ohio, but there's more to yeah. recruiting yeah. than just yeah. winning at home. It, it, it is. You have to build the infrastructure strong enough to withstand whatever storm, whatever there is that can cripple a program. You have to build an infrastructure for that, but you also have to build an infrastructure that's for the fans, for the student body, for the university, and that's what we're going to do. So. Uh they got you your green tie. And oh, that's cool. is it nice? Uh, yes. Uh, have they got you the Baker Mayfield jersey yet? Oh. No, not yet. Oh. <laughs> I'm waiting Because I'll tell you what, you throw one of those on, those kids are going to say, all right, I'm in. Yeah, that's right. I'm in. That's anything, right. We're, we're anything with him. Yeah, we're yeah. waiting on it. Yeah. Um, okay, tell me this. Uh, mm -hmm. How hard is it to recruit? Just in general, and then how hard do you think your job is going to be to recruit here? Well, I'm, I, I, I don't think recruiting is difficult. Uh, when you build authentic relationships, mm -hmm. friendships, there's no break in that. And if I focus on that area before I even talk about basketball. And you see a genuine interest in these young people that want to play for somebody who think of them more than a student athlete. They are people. They are young men mm -hmm. who are trying to navigate the world. And if you give them a key on how to navigate it, and meaning more information, they respect you more as a coach. You can yeah. coach those kids. Yeah. Now there's a Kent State connection here. This yeah. is how yes. we found out yeah. about the tele yeah. tele uh, Well, here. well. In case anyone missed the seven o'clock, <laughs> no, 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 if you do. Right, well, ahead, well, no, my no. brother flew in. Uh, he and his wife are Kent State graduates. Um, Ashley Gakes, she um, was a gymnast, and my brother Armand Gakes, he was a five-year 
uh, student athlete there and also coach there. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, he's one of the reasons why I no knew this. connection to Antonio. Gates. Well, there's a is a he's a distant cousin. Really? Oh, distant okay. Cousin. Let me tell you something. Yeah. yeah. Distant when they cousin. that was an incredible yep. team that he yep. was on. Yep. yep. That went and yeah. took Indiana right was that down. Stan Heath. It was, but can Gary I? Can Warner. I? This is a this is a sore spot for me. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great. This right. is a great. This is a sore spot for me. Okay. Talk to me. All right. I thought I think that was Gary Waters' team, and I think Stan Stan came in and was the benefit benefactor of okay. taking over a great team because Gary had gotten them to the NCAA mm -hmm. tournament the year before. They beat they beat Indiana. Bobby great Knight's team. last game yeah. as the head coach great at Indiana. Team. Okay. Uh, and then Stan came in and, uh -huh. and he had a, I mean, talk about walking in and the, the cover the was he, full. The cover was full. He did a great job. He did a great job. He did. He did. And they he were did great. a great job. He did. Uh, but I always will say to Gary no, Waters, don't you kick yourself in the pants sometime that you left well, and you went to Rutgers and you know, you, you, you knew that team was going to yeah. be great, but Rutgers paid him a ton of money. Anyway, well, that was a phenomenal team. Yeah. yeah. But it, but it proves that, that this is yeah, Northeast that, Ohio, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Northeast Ohio will will get behind yes. you know college basketball yes, yes. It, it, you know if you give them the product i agree yeah, yeah. I, I definitely agree with that. yeah yeah what about this conference uh the horizon Ooh, this is an unbelievable conference with some great coaches although you have the exit of butler Loyola, and valpo valpo yeah, yeah. It's still a great conference with great footprints in basketball tradition areas. Okay. And when you have that, you have excitement. You have the sort of, uh, you know, the m momentum for a great game, a great experience. I mean, you can't tell me going to a UIC or going to uh, Youngstown State. I mean, that rings bells. Right. And going to Wright State, they're doing a great job with great coaches who traditionally has done some great things in college basketball and for the sport. Yeah. Now, did Leonard Hamilton, what did he say to you when you went and said, hey, listen, I got the head coaching job at Cleveland State? Well, he pulled out some tape <laughs> and some boxes. <laughs> he said, get out of here. What you doing? <laughs> I said, were you preparing for this, coach? Right. <laughs> no, but he was, he was supportive, man, and he was unbelievable. As a mentor, it's almost like he's allowing his son to go into the real world yeah, and do it good. himself. Yeah, he saw me good. grow yeah. and he gave me an opportunity as a grad assistant to a first year assistant coach. And then after eight years, we take the program to an elite eight and yes. a sweet 16. He's, he was so elated that he flew out here. I don't know how many bosses go to their assistance press conferences if there oh, have oh, been one. Fair. I want to awesome. know who has done that. And yeah. that speaks for the character he is, but that also speaks for how he, if he treats his staff like that, how does he treat his student athletes? And, can, can and, he, belie and he believes yes. in this, yes. this <laughs> position for you, yeah. that, that, yeah. that being at Cleveland right. State is the right, right. move. Otherwise, right. he's not going to come exactly. and, and get on a plane exactly. to, to Did support Did Leonard it. Hamilton take Detroit to the... Uh, no. no, no. No, he didn't take So it. I'll give you background on yeah, Leonard yeah, Hamilton. Because yeah. I'm not, I, I Leonard know. Hamilton was a uh, assistant at University of Kentucky. He took his first job at University of, or, or Oklahoma State. It was a dormanted program. He took over for Eddie Sutton. No, Eddie Sutton took over for him and went to the Sweet 16. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, with the right, team he wow. left. Yeah, right. Then he went to University of Miami, and University of Miami was independent. They go to the Big East. That's right. He ends up going into the Sweet 16 and coach of the year. That's right. And he went to Miami. I mean, went to Miami, uh, Washington Wizards. That's right. Became ended up with hiring when Michael Jordan yeah, hired Michael him. Michael Jordan hired him. He was there for a year and a half, and, you know, believed that he can impact young people and rather do it at the college level, yeah. took over a dormanted Florida State program. He's been there for 18 years and- 18 yeah. years, he's wow. the He's the second longest tenured coach in the ACC behind Coach K. That tells you all you need to know. Yeah. That there tells you, you all you need wow. to know. Well, Coach, we appreciate you hey, spending yeah, a lot of time uh, with yeah, us I tonight. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I, I know, uh, dinner, you, you deserve a dinner after do this. I? Yes, you do. You <laughs> deserve dinner after this. And I know the, uh, uh, I know you're going out and enjoying mm -hmm. yourself and then the work starts. Good luck. I hey, appreciate you guys, here. man. Good appreciate it. Really appreciate nice it. Thanks for having you. me. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Make sure you download the Master Pizza app and start earning <laughs> pizza points today. The Donovan Live Post Game Show presented by Master Pizza. Taste above all. For new Cleveland State basketball coach Dennis Gates. For Jim Donovan, I'm Dave DiNatale. Thanks for watching the Donovan Live Post Game Show on WKYC's Facebook Live and on YouTube. All right, coach. Good, Coach. Yeah. Did you know Gene Deckerhoff? Yeah, I know.